Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I'll be showing you how to download um, Fortnite on, on any Windows PC. Now, of course, I have a Windows 11 PC here. Yours might be a Windows 10 or so on. All right, so the procedure should be, in general, should be the same. So we're going to go ahead, guys. I'm going to launch a browser. So once you're here, we're going to type in um, Fortnite. We're going to type in um, Windows Download. All right, so we're going to select the first. Then we're going to go for um, Epic Games, Fortnite. And you'll have several options. We're going to go right to this option on here that says um, Install using Epic Game Launcher. It says install Fortnite in the Epic Games Launcher. And of course, it shows you how to get and download the Epic Game Launcher. So we're going to um, go ahead and we're going to hit get Epic Games up here. Then we're going to save the launcher. Um, you might get here in other ways as well. I guess I can show you that. You could actually go to the main page as well. And you can hit Windows and it will be the same thing. So there are several ways to get here. I could also hit Download. It will ask your platform. For example, PC. And it will ask it to log in. But it's the same thing basically again. So as long as you get the launcher here. Is epic launcher let me cancel that which is downloaded no which is epic installer that's the same one all right so once the epic installer is finished go ahead we're going to launch since it's from um, epic games which is the official website us we're going to um, hit ok all right it's going to ask you where you want to install Epic Games, we're going to hit install. Then, of course, we're going to allow it to do its thing. All right, it's verified Epic Games Incorporated. It's signed digitally, so we're going to say yes. All right, so it's running through the pieces, copying its new files, updating um, its components. All right, notice the Epic Game Launcher right here. It's installing DirectX, which is needed for optimum performance. Watch out for permissions such as this. All right, it will stop the process, so allow these things to go through. All right, so it's now um, downloading its updates. It's um, in this case, a few megabytes. Well, 529 megabytes. I'm gonna allow this to do its thing. I'm gonna come back as soon as it's finished. All right guys, so once it's done, it's all to make changes, say yes. And of course, it's gonna run through the prerequisites. Shouldn't take too long. And of course, Give it a little time. There you go. So now the game launcher is installed. So you can go ahead and sign in with Epic Games. Now, of course, I'm going to sign in. I'll be back in a sec. All right. So we have um, done the install. So, of course, it should launch. You should see these credentials, which basically 
the typical and we're going to go ahead and install all right and once you're here you can just simply allow this to settle in there you go i'm going to close this out and you simply you can search for fortnite here or you can see here if you haven't searched for Fortnite just yet, you could always go Fortnite, Fortnite, search, alright, so once you find it, go ahead and um, select Fortnite, alright, so once you're here, you just um, get this out of the way you'll notice it's in here and of course um you can go ahead and download um here's mine it is slow so it takes time depending on the server so you do have to give it time so of course you can see here it's downloaded for me already you can select over here um of course you can always click over here quick launch if you had it already previously installed the quick launcher would automatically start install it on a new start installing it on a new device i'm at um one percent on this particular install so i'm gonna allow it to do its thing and of course guys you can simply from the quick launcher here as you said it's one percent you can always go to downloads to monitor your download so if you look over here guys um for me it's showing it's at one percent as i was showing you earlier from here but it's at one percent it's doing its thing and of course it's downloading and the total size as seen here is 39 gigs it does take some time so you'd have to bear with your connection if you have a super fast connection it should um, not take too long as for my connection it's pretty decent but the file is big at 39 gigs so you'll have to give it a lot of time so remember that the game is super huge guys um, you can monitor here um depending on your connection you may want to leave this or try to download that late at night um, if your connection is fast enough um, this should take no time for you at all um, let's see how much percent we are at i'm at two percent so this does take time and of course it's doing its thing when it's finished guys you can always launch you already in um you're already logged in so simply launch in the game and simply go ahead and play all right, so I'm going to end the um, guide here. So, of course, I don't think I need to do the full install as it takes up a lot of bandwidth and I don't have a super fast um, connection that would take like minutes. So, guys, um, that's how to install Fortnite on a Windows PC. All right, if you have any questions, please ask them below as always, guys. Regardless, saying bye until next time. Bye.